Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on imperfect market information. So firstly in the top left we have the principal agent problem part of our imperfect market information. So the principal agent problem is divided up into a few parts. Firstly you need to know who principals and who agents are. So principal is somebody who will gain or lose from a decision. For example the shareholder of a company. If the company does badly, then the shareholder doesn't get any money back. But if the company does well and makes a high profit, then they will get a dividend or a small chunk of money back from the company. So therefore, the principal, in this case a shareholder, is somebody who will gain or lose from a decision that the company makes. An agent, on the other hand, is somebody who makes those decisions on behalf of the principal. So for example, if we go back to our shareholder example, the agent is, the, is somebody who is making decisions at the company, so most likely a high up, um, a high up manager, someone like the chief executive officer. So they will make the decision that will decide whether the company does well or does badly, and therefore whether the principal, the shareholder, gains or loses from that decision. And the principal agent problem occurs when the aims and opinions and ideas of principles are different to those of the agent. So for example, uh, the agent, the, say the chief executive officer of B&Q, might say actually um, our plant pot range has done really well this year so we're going to get in some more plant pots and we're going to keep on selling them because we're making a lot of profit from them. But then the principal, one of the big shareholders in B&Q, might say actually no, I want us to start selling sheds because I think we can make more profit from sheds. So because their aims are different, the principal agent problem has occurred. Next in our top right we have types of market information. And market information can either be symmetric or asymmetric. And symmetric is the same, just like a symmetric shape, and asymmetric is when things are not the same, and I'm going to explain them just now. So symmetric market information occurs when buyers and sellers of a good so suppliers and demanders, if you're talking about the curves, they, ha they have access to the same amount of information about the good. So for example, if you are buying an iPhone, you know how much internet uh, availability you're getting in your package, you know how many texts, you know how many calls, and you know how much it's going to cost each month. And that is known also by the provider, so somebody like EE they are going to know exactly the same stuff as you do about the package. However, asymmetric market information occurs when buyers and sellers, or demanders and suppliers, have access to different amounts of information about the good. So for example, in this case, the phone company might know that this phone is going to break in six months, but they're not going to tell you that because they want you to buy the phone. So therefore, you have access to different amounts of information the demander or the buyer has access to less information than the supplier so therefore asymmetric not the same market information has occurred and if asymmetric market information occurs then the moral hazard in the bottom right occurs and if and the moral hazard is when if companies are lying to buyers asymmetric market information one knows more than the other so they are withholding information, they are lying to the buyer, then this leads to kind of moral and ethical issues, so the moral hazard. Or it can happen the other way around, the buyer may know something that the uh, seller does not, so therefore they are lying in this case and the moral hazard has occurred, moral problems have arisen. And if either one gets caught then there tend uh, to not only be moral issues, there also tend to be legal issues, because it can be um, illegal and you can get in a lot of trouble including huge fines if you sell a good or if you buy a good that you know more about than the other party. So how does market failure occur by imperfect market information? Well if asymmetric market information occur and therefore the moral hazard occur there will be market failure because welfare has not been maximized and also if the principal agent problem occurs then market failure will occur 